Hi, I'm Alex Radcliffe. Hi, I'm Rena. And today we are playing and reviewing Merchants of Magic by Rock Manor Games. This is going to be a game that takes place in the Set A Watch universe. A game you haven't played Set A Watch, have you? Solo game. We played it. Well, it was solo and team game. I've only played it solo a long time Never ago. Played it. Yeah, I have it back on the shelf. I actually got it back. But that's all neither here nor there <laughs> at all whatsoever. Merchants of Net Magic, we're going to be doing a playthrough, quick rules overview, and of course, review at the end. So timestamps down below so you can skip to whatever relevant section for yourself. Now, this is going to be a roll and write game at its core. It's going to be a game that takes place across 10 rounds. One, two, three. You can see tiny, tiny, tiny print. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And every single round, you're going to roll these nicely stacked dice, and you're going to be basically write down those numbers on your sheet, specifically corresponding to the columns that they are in. Now it's worth noting, this is a, not a prototype, but like a pre-production copy, which means everything you see here is mostly final. I believe the dice are slightly different in their colors or whatever, so they may not match up perfectly over here, but mostly the same. Uh, past that, once you have those dice rolled up on the on your sheet, once you mark them down, you're going to be basically attributing those elements in order to craft different things because your shop over here, the shop that you have, once you allocate the dice correctly, it's not that you're using those dice once and then you're done, rather you're building up proficiencies. Perhaps your proficiency is that you can build backpacks and spears and staffs faster than other players. Perhaps you can build a fiery spear or a fiery spear of the elves faster than other players. And those things are going to be relevant because as you build up those different attributions, as you build up what you're good at, you'll be able to start fulfilling orders in these card rows. So in order to fulfill this order, I'll need to have the Shocking Warhammer of the Elves. That's three different proficiencies. But once I have Shocking, it's going to make the Shocking Staff of the Orcs a little easier. Reno over here has three Fiery cards in here, which means she should be targeting Fiery as much as possible. Although it's worth noting, these cards will cycle around. These are customers. And every single round that they don't get what they want, they're going to keep shopping around at other shops. Now the first six, seven, maybe even eight rounds in the game is you spending time and energy building up those proficiencies, and then those last few rounds of the game you start fulfilling orders rapid fire as your shop becomes, well, better at everything it's doing. And so with those elements, you're going to be utilizing them in these card rows to be able to mark things off. And I'll walk you through it as we go through the first round. I'll walk through what I'm doing. I think it's a little easier to literally show you than to cover every little thing. And so with that, we're going to go ahead and start. Ready? Yeah. Already. Okay, so Ooh, I'm going to go ahead numbers. and mark those off in these specific columns. That's going to be a four of the red. of the red, whatever the material is. Uh, it's going to be steel, wool, or leather. They could be different materials. Purple We're going to have two. a purple two. We're going to have a light yellowish whatever five, and then a ten of that color over there. That's mm. always the high one. Now, I'm going to look across these rows, and I'm going to allocate them to different proficiencies, but they have to specifically... So let's, let's look a look over here. I can take this four over here, and I can mark it on this column over here. I can mark off this ring, because this ring is in the steel column, meaning it uses that red die, and this ring says it has to be greater than a two, or specifically a two or greater. So I can go ahead and use that. Now one thing I'm going to be mindful of the fact is that I have the range as my character, which means I definitely want to check off the elves. When I get the elves, the pendant of the elves, the staff of the elves, and the plate armor of the elves, then I will basically be able to start knock off her things for extra points over there. So I'm going to look across this row over here to specifically find what I need for the elves. I'm going to need 10 or lower on this green die. So I'm actually going to go ahead and mark off that green die or circle it however you will. And I'm going to go ahead and circle that to illustrate that I've gotten one of those. Now, if I want to get the elves, I'd have to have the eight or lower on something else. So I think I'm going to go ahead and mark off that yellow dice over here in order to basically show over here. I'm going to mark off that and use that, which means I've now successfully done the something nice. of the elves. Okay. But two things. One, you can only actually use two of these numbers each round. Across the course of the game, you could use extra dice. I'll illustrate it over here. You get three extra dice you can use across the course of the game. And if you pay potions, you can get extra, another three extra dice for two, three, and four potions respectively. Which brings us to potions. I just finished a row, which means I'm going to collect a potion. Potions can be used either for that over there or alternatively to modify the die for yourself. I could have called this two, a three, or a one by cashing in a potion. You can cash in as many potions as you want for each die. Additionally, I'm going to circle this number over here, illustrating that I have one point from gold, and now I'm already a little bit on the way towards building something of the elves. Yeah. Okay, Ready you done? Yes, I am. So, cards are going to rotate. I'm going to take this card. Everything's going to shift down. Yeah, every round, in a, in a multiplayer game, depending on the number of players, you have a different number of items in your shop. In a two-player game, you each have four items. One's rotating every round, which means, again, for the first few rounds of the game, you're just going to see slow rotation when something's happening. You can go ahead and roll. Okay. But uh, once the game picks up, you're going to see things starting to sell very quickly. Very low. So, very low. Ooh, nice, nice. Okay, we got over there, we got over there, we got a one over there, and a two over there. So, 
I do want to do the Staff of the Elves, the Plate Armor of the Elves, the Pendant. I want Pendant of the Elves. You Let's want Pendant go ahead. of the Elves? I... Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the pendant, because I have this everlasting pendant of the elves. I have three, four rounds before it shifts out of my purview. I so I that. definitely want to do a pendant. That's almost certain, or I want to do everlasting. Everlasting would be a one or lower mm -hmm. on that die. Ooh, that's beautiful. You that is beautiful. Enough. Thank you so much for that, sweetie. Okay, because yeah. everlasting requires a one or lower, which is particularly harder, because one or lower is basically just one. Oh, did so, I get that? Oh, I did get that. I also need the one Oh, you need the everlasting? Me too. Okay, so that's going to be you that. You did not mention, I think, about your specific custom. Um, I, I touched upon it. I yeah. touched upon it. Yeah, I mentioned briefly I want the elf stuff. That was my whole reason why I got the elves last round. And then I want the everlasting. I could do the nine or lower on that. For here, we just mark off the extra dice when we want them, right? Yes. I think I'm actually going to try marking Go off my extra it. dice a little bit earlier. Okay, this where's time? my pendant? My pendant needs a seven or greater on this eight, which I don't have. And then he's a one or greater on any of those, which is pretty easy. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take the Everlasting, utilizing that six over here. So I've used that, which means I've now done the Everlasting. Same. I got two. I earned a potion. Now the question is, do I want to use an extra die for anything else? Since I want to heavily focus on the Pendant, I think I will actually choose not to... Although I may as well use the one. No, I'm going to hold off. Okay, okay. great. Ready? Ready for the next round? I am. Ready to roll? Well, we're going to go ahead and rotate. Card row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a little tedious at first, as you just, you know, rotate them for no reason. Yeah. But it will matter as the game progresses. There you go. Okay. We have a... Such low numbers. Nine. A nine. Nine, eight, a four, and a four. So the four is on a six-sided die, so that's like, you know, above average over there. And I still want that pendant, which means I need a seven or higher. So I'm going to mark off that eight over there, crossing it down. And I need a one or higher on any of the other dice. So I'm going to go ahead and utilize the one... So this is actually pretty fast. I'm completing an order right now. I'm also about to complete That's insane. Order, I think. So the question is, do I want to do the bracers? The bracers would potentially require a nine or higher. I think I am going to use the bracers over here. So watch, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to mark off the bracers with a nine or higher using this die. That's going to be any of those. And that's going to be circling yes, that. Nice. I earn a potion. Me too. And then I think I am going to use an extra die. Okay. And I'm going to use it so I can do the pendant, which requires a one or higher of any of these. I only have the red left. So I'm going to go ahead and cross that off, three, circle four. that, take a thing. Uh, those will require cashing in two potions, three potions, or four so potions to be able to use even more extra dice. I did not know that last game. Oh, well, you should totally have done that. Oh, Fun fact. man. Okay, I only did one dice, so okay. hold on. I am not ready you to do move you. on. Go ahead. Go wait. ahead. I'll wait. I'll, I'll be patient. Oh, really? I'll be patient. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can wait. Sure. Oh, sweetie, it's late. It's getting late. It's so And it's getting late. And that's the way it is. There you use my red die. No! And she used her die. She doesn't Wait. know what to do. Three. I already and used it's her die. Tight. Bigger than eight. I don't even know the song, but Rob Thomas. This is a Rob Thomas song that's that's along those lines of it's getting late. Do not use my other die. Oh, we I like Rob Thomas. I do like Rob Thomas. We should listen to Rob Thomas. Yes, I know, but it's very hard to concentrate when you see. Ooh, it is it hard background. to concentrate? It is. You ready? No. Oh, I'm the worst at this. You are. I can't use it in my... Pro you can't use the same die again. I don't think so. Okay. Fine. That's my understanding. I don't think so. I'm actually one of the things I'm not certain about from the rules. When you cash in, like if you play Ganshan Clever and you use your plus ones, mm -hmm. you can actually cash them in on the same dice you've used. It wasn't 100% clear to me from these rules whether you can use your extra dice to use something you've already utilized, but we've been playing as if you can't just because, well, we, we had to make a decision. Well, I do need right. everlasting. So while you oh, do I your thing, everlasting. When while did I you, that? I don't know, but count up your potions. See, see the number of finished rows you have. Less than eight, less than ten. Oh, I can do. In the meantime, oh, I could do this. I'm going to. I feel like I'm going to try to use more of these. And do early this. on, do it, do it, yeah. do it, do it. Right, okay, I'm ready now. cool. Ready? So no, 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 I'm not ready. Oh, I'm, I'm not ready at all because I have the everlasting bracers. So I'm going to take these. Oh, nice. That's going to be a new card. It's going to come out face down. Does not get turned up until the right. face extra round. And that's three points for me at the end of the game. Additionally, I have the everlasting pendant of the elves. So I got all those. I'm nice. actually going to cross off those full rows so I can, or full titles so you can see them a little better. Okay. So I got the everlasting pendant of the elves. It's going to be another six points and another card face down. Nice. I do not have the fiery plate armor, but I do have the pendant of the elves. So I'm going to explain how that works. So pendant of the elves means I've done the first of the items on my personal sponsor. Once I get all three, I'm going to get six coins. But because I've done the first order completed, I get three potions from the supply. And that's going to be that over there. Nice. And then when I get the second order, I get to mark any circle. And I get to do the third order, I get to mark any circle. It can be very useful. And let's go ahead and Ready? cycle. Nope, nope. You always do the same thing. Cycle the cards. Yes, cycle yes, the cards. Yes, yes. I love dragons. 
Okay, I think I want some fiery plate armor. Don't those flip over They now? do flip over now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. see. We got Shocking let's Grimoire see. of the Dragons, and the Everlasting down. Backpack of the Dragons, and the Fiery Shield. Lots of fiery going on here. Okay, four Okay, we got again. a three purple, a eight yellow, a five green, and a four. That's a lot. That's the third time we've rolled a four of red, which is shocking amount that of fours of red. Okay, I think fiery is becoming essential here. So I want an 11 or lower and a 6 I or lower. So that should be pretty easy to get. And then I have the fiery shield. I need plate armor too. And plate armor requires an 8 or higher. How do you get an 8 or high, Sweetie? Yes. The fiery, the plate armor requires an 8 or higher yes. on a die that only goes to 6. It doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. I paid and I got it last time. You, well, then you either cheated or you paid potions. I must have paid potions. You can play potions, but it requires an eight or higher on a die. Because you see this column over here? This column can only go down to this this way over here, which means it requires that six. I'm going to want that plate armor, and but it's not a, it's a four. I'd have to pay in four patients potions right now. That is a high price to pay. I'm not willing to do it just yet, but I do want that thing. So I'm going to go ahead and I circle this one to circle this. So I have the eight or higher on that die. I'm going to go ahead and cash in the three over here. So I have the two or higher of that die. And then I will hold off for next round to see what else I can get. We have fiery. Do I want to do fiery now? Fiery requires a six or lower on that die. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do fiery as an extra die and cross off the six or lower on that die. And cool. boom. Okay. Hi. I'm ready. Wait a second. Hold on. Hello, Have sweetie. Eight, eight, eight. Shush. Okay, fine. I'm ready to move on. Okay, I get, collect, I get a... No, that one's mine! See? I have Fiery Helmet of Elves. Great job, sweetie. Thank you. Okay, new card comes up. Yes, it does. Okay, which I'll be taking, apparently. Oh, thank you. Okay, and we get these, 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 and these, and these. Something is telling me I should start going after the shocking. Shocking. We have an everlasting crossbow. Crossbows that last everlasting are the best. All right, we're on round seven. Round seven, only oh, three right. items have been round fulfilled. Six. I wrote two and three. We're on round six, and I just need to look at that. You see my two and three? I kind of blur them together. Your, your handwriting is so large. Sweetie, sweetie, judge not, lest you be judged. Okay, I'm I'm cramming so this in. We're round six, apparently. That's much better. Oh, yes. Round six oh, that's is much a better. Zero. Yes, we have. That's a zero. That's a ten. Does this have tens? So this can be a fun question. I don't know because of the dice issue. I don't know if that's a 10 or a 0. I'm assuming it's a 10. I would call it a 10, sweetie. Fine. Because that's that's a 10 sided die right there. That okay. should be a 10. And that's going to be a 6 on the... And a one, two ones yeah. and a 6. Yeah, that's that's a low scoring round right there. A, so Well, a 10 is a quite a high number. The 10 so. is quite a high number. That is fair. That is absolutely fair. I give it to you. Speaking of which, we have the 11 or lower on the fiery. So I'm going to go ahead and cash in that. So I now can do fiery stuff. I'm going to circle that, and I'm going to take a potion, and then from there, I still want to get the fiery shield while I still can. The shield is going to be a 3 and an 8. A 3 and an 8 is going to be tough, mm -hmm. especially this round. Wow, that's going to be really tough. I'm not going to get that shield this round, okay. but I still also need a pendant. No, I got the pendant. I need the plate armor. I need the staff. The staff requires a 6 or higher of those. Again, tough round for these, for these particular numbers. So we're going to have to head over here and find everlasting. I have everlasting, which means I probably want a crossbow. Crossbow. We'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to circle this for my 10 or higher, mm -hmm. and boom, I'm done for the round. I am not done for the round. The yellow or the green. Yep. And I use the purple. It needs to be less than 7. Perfect. Beautiful. Ready to go? No. I finished shocking, so now I'm going to take this. Yep. And I don't think I actually get anything. Okay. Shocking Warhammer of the Elves passes on this away. You get that. We get these, new one, that, that, boom, and we go ahead and do this. Yes. By the way, worth explaining, over here we have two uh, basically extra points you can get. For the Leather Artisan, whoever marks six circles in the Leather Material column, which by the way I have one, two, three, four. I have one. Yeah, then you get, as soon as you get six, you're going to get eight points. The other player can get four, so it's basically you still get second place if you get it. And then the Enchanter in the Elemental column, forever counts six, I only have one for there. I did a thing. You did a thing. I did. I she finished did a thing. the Everlasting Hammer. So you get to mark off any single any thing. Any circle. So. Interesting. Oh, that would be useful for the plate yeah, armor. That's what I did for the that's plate armor. That's probably what I did. did. Yeah. Plate armor. That would be useful. Uh, I think I'm going to do that too. New strategy. So I need to get the pendant or the staff. No, I did the pendant. I need to get the staff. Okay. You ready? Uh, no, I'm not ready. I'm sorry. Ready, ready, ready. Ready. This is very, very 
or straining. It is. Know what they want to do. The irony is when we played this earlier, we were making fun. She was making fun of how slow I'd be on camera, considering how slow I yes, was. Yes, 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 When yes, I played yes, this yes, game yes, the first yes, time. Yes, 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 yes. Fine, I will do my plate armor. Here we go. Okay, you can roll the dice. Go ahead. Very nice rolling. Okay, one. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we got a ten of that. It's ten. around seven. A, we have a four, four again. It's the like the unbelievable. That that die is weighted. By the way, fun fact: this is also the weighted die copy of the game. Okay, <laughs> four, one, three, ten, which means I believe I want to do my staff. I still can't. I can barely do my staff. I think it's still the right move though. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oh wait, no, we need fiery plate armor. See, I need the fiery plate armor before it goes away. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my staff so I can catch that fiery plate armor. So I'm going to cash in two potions to turn this, what's it called, this four of red into a um, six. So I can do that over there, which means now I have my Staff of the Elves. I still have one more die I can take, but the Staff of the Elves lets me complete the plate armor, which means I now have the plate armor of the Elf, which means I'm going to go ahead and be able to do this as well. So I get one die anywhere. So to begin with, I'm going to be taking the Fiery Plate Armor, because I have Fiery and nice. Plate Armor now. So you can wish, let's just take a potion. Stuff. Take a potion for that. And then that's going to be that over here. Let me nice. stock my wares. I'm going to put this one over here. The fiery shield would be nice, although I don't need to get it right uh -huh. now, so I'm not in a rush for that. Although I may still take it because it needs an 8 or higher. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take that okay. shield over there with my third die over here. And I also get the coins for my sponsored adventurer. So nice. they're all done all now. Nice. Yep, all I three. have to finish the war. And I still, need, I still get one more die that I can utilize for something else. And so I have shocking, fiery, everlasting, shocking. I think shocking might be the way to go. Do you have shocking? Yeah, you have multiple shockings. shockings. Okay, shocking is the way to go. So I need a 3, a 7 or lower, or a 2 or lower on that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and cash in this for the two or lower on that, and I am Dunzos. Ready? We're Dunzos. Yes. Oh, wait, cards, sorry. cards. Okay. You shift those cards around. You have this card over here. You have a shocking, shocking sword. sword. Ooh, how much is a sword? Okay. I can probably get a sword this turn. Yay me. Ready? Yep. I can show oh, you at that. the sword. Big numbers. Round eight. Round eight. Eight. I can't be late. We should not. Would not want to wait. I also have a five. A five is a pretty high red. Five is going to be the second highest red you can get, which is otherwise known as a six would be the highest red you can get on a six-sided die. So I want to get my fiery shield. That's what I want to get. So my shield's over here, which means I need a three or higher on the red. So I'm going to go mm -hmm. ahead and do that. Okay, cool. that's going to be that, which means I circle that, which means I get that, which means I get a potion, which means I get my fiery shield. You stole my shield. Uh, it's not your shield. It's my shield. Yeah. It's my shield. I also want the everlasting crossbow. I do not have the crossbow yet. I need a oh, nine or higher. Now, this isn't like I can put two and make it a one. Nope. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Not in the slightest. I need the shocking war hammer of the, the elves over here. I have elves. I have not shocking. So if I have not shocking, I need a seven or lower on either of those, which means I can't do it, but I could cash in a potion. So I'm going to cash in a potion to turn that eight into a seven. And that's going to be the seven or lower on the shocking, which means I circle that and also get a potion right back because I've completed the row. Nice. Now, I still want to do the Warhammer of the Elves. Warhammer is over here. I need a six, five, or four. So I think I'm going to go ahead and hold off till next round and not cash in any extras, at least not right now. The last thing that's intriguing, see that orcs is intriguing because there aren't really a lot of orcs mm -hmm. out. So the question is, do I want to invest yes. in orcs? On the other hand, there are a lot of dragons coming. So I may choose to invest in dragons right now. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and choose to invest in dragons with pulling off this over here, using up my third circle. And that's going to be a five of dragons over there. And it's five or lower. Perfect. Ready? Excellent. I'm Indeed. ready. Okay. Go ahead. Oh. Cards Shit. cycle, 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 cycle. You have a new card. It's gonna be an orcs. Watch it. Nope. It's gonna be Warhammer, Warhammer of Dragons. I need to finish this Warhammer. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let's look, it's another four. So we shocking. got a three. We have a four of yellow. We have a ten of green. Where are those low greens? I need them back. I know. Me too. I need them back. I need to finish my dragons. I want you back. I shouldn't be singing that song. No, okay, cool. Shouldn't. I'm gonna circle that four to cash in the dragon situation. Although I still want to complete the shield, didn't I? No, the crossbow. Crossbow needs a nine or higher of those. It's final figured out. Okay, so I'm, I crossed off the four in order to do my dragons over here. I still need to get one more for dragons, although that's going to be a hard one. And then, see, there's going to be these, also this charm section down here where you can do different things. So, for instance, I have a uh, shield, a bracers, a pendant, and armor. So I think I do want extra points per armor. That's going to be hard to get right now on these cards. So I'm going to have to hold off and wait for the ninth round, the tenth round. Was I supposed to take the Shocking Sword last round? Uh, yeah. Do you have the Shocking Sword stuff? I did. And last round you had it too? Yeah. Then let's go ahead and give you a new card. 
Everlasting Scroll. That should be easy. Mm. Okay. Um, but I'm back to over here. I still have two, one die left to cash in. I've done that one. I never actually circle this. I should circle that. And the crossbow requires a nine or higher. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cash in three potions to make that six a nine or higher. It's a little bit aggressive on those three potions there, but I think it's worthwhile because it also gives me a potion back. And more specifically, this is my last chance to get the everlasting crossbow before it cycles. No, no, but, it's not, but if, if I wait, it's going to cycle to you. So that was mm. my last chance to get the everlasting crossbow. The other things, who knows? And so I think that is my round. I will pay, wait patiently I for next I'm round actually... and hope for low rolling on that green. Nope, I think I'm actually going to pay three potions. Yep. So I can circle this Warhammer. Circling the Warhammer. Okay, ready? This is the last round? It's the last round. Okay, we cycle this round. These come out. You also have this fun card over here. Shocking oh, I Helmet. I Everlasting Scroll. Okay, which means a new one comes out for you. This is going to be that. Divine, Divine Bracers. Bracers. I can't get that out. Let's go ahead. Stuff. I needed a lower number on that. It's a six. I can work with a six. I might be able to work with a six here. Okay, we have a six, a number six, one. a four, and a one. It's the last round here, people. The last round. So if I make that six into a two by trading in four potions, mm -hmm. which is very aggressive, then I can go ahead and finish my of dragons, which means I now have the plate armor of the dragons. Mm -hmm. That's helpful there. Helpful-ish. Helpful-ish. Okay, cool. Plate armor of the dragons. New card comes out. Not that it matters at this point. And then the shocking warhammer. I have shocking. I have not the warhammer. Can I pay four potions to lower a number? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can do shocking staff. I have staff. I have shocking, and I have orcs. I can get orcs. Maybe I can't get orcs. I can do shocking grimoire of dragons. I have dragons. I have shocking. How much would a grimoire be for me? Grimoire. That's gonna be too much. Grimoire mm. is gonna be too much for me, which means I don't think I can walk away with anything particularly extra at this point. So at this point, I might just come down to getting points for finishing certain rows. So yeah, I need to figure this out. Hold on. I could use two potions to get another extra. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and cash in. I'm going to cash in this four over here to get the backpack over here. And then I'm going to use the six over here to get that over there. Okay. Circling that, circling that. Okay. Cashing the two potions for my extra. Do I extra take this automatically if I And taking it? two potions back because I finished the rows. Do I take this automatically if I finish yes. it? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, I am not done yet I think tactically you do it at the end of the round just for simplicity in the sequencing. Mm -hmm. I actually find the sequencing a little easier if I just do it as I go. But it doesn't actually change okay. anything. I have to figure this all out because this is not going to work. Do I have leather? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I should have gotten for leather. That would have been the right move. Mm -hmm. It's too late now. Yes. It's too late now. I'm not okay. going. I'm not. I'm not going to post edit this. But my last turn, I probably should have gone for leather instead. It's all good. I'm done with this. I am not done with this because the problem is this is a one and I need it to be a six to do it, my warhammer. I hear that. That is a problem. But I only have four potions. That is also a problem. So is there a row that I can finish to get e another, another potion? potion? Almost certainly. Just anywhere. Anywhere where there's one. Do you have any ones left? Do you have a seven over here? Is that possible? Um, yeah. I can circle but you'd have to give six. a potion, wouldn't you? And no, that, why? Because it's a seven plus. No, it's not. It's a seven minus. Oh, that, you're looking at a different thing than I am. That works too. So if I but no, that, Wait, wait. The seven minus is not on its own, though. Oh. The right. seven plus is on its own. Uh, the six plus. There's a six plus. Oh, that works. Fine. So if I circle this. Yep. So you take a potion. Right. And then I take a potion, which I'll just leave because I need this to okay. go up by five. So you're trading in the four potions plus the one you just took. Yeah. To go up by five. Yes, indeed. To circle the warhammer. Yep. To finish this. Yep. To take a potion. Yep. Okay. Because I finished the warhammer, now I finished the everlasting warhammer, which lets me mark off this, which lets me mark off this, which lets me finish this, which lets me take another potion. So now I can take the everlasting backpack of dragons, and then I can take the warhammer of dragons. Do you feel accomplished? I do. Great. Excellent. <laughs> cool. She feels accomplished. That's all we want. That was Ready. very, very stressful. Okay. Now, what are these symbols meet on top? Uh, those symbols are basically the shocking. You see how it's shocking oh, and whatnot? Oh, that's very cute. Okay. okay. We're going to clean that up. We're going to slide our sheets up a little bit, and oh, now we're going to do scoring. Math. So, Crafting. Crafting is going to be ultimately the various, um, I think it's the sides over there. Material mastery. So n neither one of us got masteries. These are going to be the two masteries up here. I didn't get any so you can put down zero in the masteries. Energy and material. Oh, crafting is going to be these numbers and uh, spell research is going to be those numbers. So literally we're just adding up our numbers here. So one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, plus eight is 17. So I have 17 in crafting. What? I added up these? Yep. Two, added the four, six, ten. 11, 13. Okay, then we go on to spell research. Add up the numbers in your spell research. 
We have... I do not have as many. Three, four, five, six. Six. Oh, I did this one over here as well. Six plus four is ten. I have ten. Okay. Then we move on to completed orders. Oh, Add so up your completed more. orders, yes. taking out your person. Your person is separate. I did that already. Nine. So five plus eight is thirteen. Plus nine is twenty-two. Plus four is twenty-six. We are very close. What do you have? Twenty-three. Okay. And then charms bonus, which is I think I have zero charms. I have zero charms. Zero charms. And then sponsored adventure is going to be six points. I have five. And then you simply add up your total. I did win, I guess. Mm -hmm. 17 plus 10, 27. Plus 13. 6 is 33. Plus 53, 59. 41? Does that make sense? No, you had higher than that. 13 plus 5 is 18. 18, 18 plus, plus 23 is 40. Uh, 41 plus 10 is 51. Oh, there you, you go. There we go. I knew we missed okay. something. Just the zero mm -hmm. next to it. Really close again. 51 to 59. Cool. That is going to be Merchants of Magic, which means if you just jumped here from the timestamp section, hi, welcome. <laughs> we just had a lot of fun. We maybe. Did. maybe. Oh, I had a lot of fun. I always have fun. They don't know the review yet. Don't tell them. Oh. Okay, Merchants of Magic by, by Rock Manor Games. Uh, this is going to be, like I said, Set of Watch. This is also going to be um, The Few and the Cursed. Do you know that one? Nope. Few and the Cursed involves deck building and cowboys running around, fighting things. With a horse, and we had to go places, and there were mountains in my way. And I need to choose Argu to go places. Arguably, maybe. There are curses. It had a board. Yes, it had a bird. <laughs> it had a board. Okay. Anyways, so separately from Didn't all... Didn't you have to go and like dig up thingies? You had ammo. You could you, you used ammo and you shot people and you shot weapon drag... Didn't this I is... go and dig up items? I don't remember this. There were artifacts. You went around the board collecting artifacts in the corners. And then I won. Maybe. Yeah, because they went and got all the artifacts and Immaterial. you just sat there shooting things. Either way. Either way. So, that, by the way, that is probably how life works. I will shoot, sit there and shoot things. So, uh, this is going to be, like I said, Merchants of Magic. Merchants of Magic. Let's go into this. So, starting off, off the bat, what do you like about this game series? It's a roll and write. It's a roll and write. Excellent. Mm, Instant love, pass. I, I love my roll and writes. That's fair. We do I like I think there hasn't been a roll and write that I don't like. Actually, it's not true. There was that one with the puzzle with the numbers that and the patterns that I had to match up the two squares next to each other. Five that, to find them? Yeah, I like Ricky that. and I just reviewed that. It's oh, going up. Funny. It's going up. It just went up last <laughs> week or whatever. So, uh, gonna be that's gonna be that one. So that is one you didn't like. But yeah. uh, but I would say it's not so much that there's not I would agree with you most roll and writes we do like, but there certainly are roll and writes that just haven't stuck around because there's, there's, we didn't, there's, there's, we liked it, and then there's, we liked it and want to ask for it again. That's true. Two different categories entirely. Yes. But, so roll and write. Anything else? It's magic. It is magic. It I is. Like magic. It has dragons and elves and orcs and dwarfs. Abstracted to the nth degree. I mean, it's, it's, it's basically you're, you're, you're crafting an item shop, and this, I happen to be good at spells that revolve around dwarfs and elves and around fiery shocking, and I'm also very good at backpacks. I am known for my backpacks and my plate armor, but if you need a good sword, see her down the road. <laughs> so, so yeah, so, I mean, anything, anything else before I go into mine? Or we're just going to stick with Roland Wrights and Dragons? It's the, I like the theme. I like the artwork. I like Roland Wright. I'm just very happy to complain. It's light. It's easy. It just goes... Yeah, so I like the theme. I like the artwork. I like the roll and write. I'll give you all those things. Um, I like the general sequencing of, of being able to slowly build up an engine that gets more and more progressive as the game goes on. Meaning, you start off, and especially the first time you play this game, we'll get into this in the things we didn't like section, but especially the first time you play this game, you're going to jump through those first six rounds and be like, how do you get anything done? This is an overly complicated engine where I can do two things, but then as you get towards the end, your shop is getting more proficient. It's not that you're never giving up the, the backpack, you're never giving mm -hmm. up the plate armor. Once you can do plate armor, you can do all plate armor, and so being armor. able to cycle around and, and just constantly build up a better engine around those cards and have more and more things, and you pop out a new card, and you're like, ooh, now I have the fire shocking black dragon of, of orc kin, or something, which isn't a thing. <laughs> but, a thing. <laughs> but now you can actually build that fiery shocking dragon of orc kin. So I like, I like all that. I like your, your, your sponsored person. I do like this one. Because they give you a few freebies over here, where once you check off your second and third order for your sponsor, you can then basically mm -hmm. mark any circle, which is very rewarding, especially when you have that eight on a die that only goes up to six. I like the fact that every row you complete gives you potions, and you can then use those potions to modify things. Again, difference between first helpful. game, yeah, difference between first game and helpful. subsequent games is that that first game you're, try you're trying to hold on to your potions because you're like, I don't want to cash in a potion if it's like one difference. I don't want to cash in three potions at once. That seems like a waste. But the first game, I think I ended the game with like 19 potions because I was so stringent about holding on to them. Guess how many points potions are worth at the end of the game? That's that's the number right there. Zero points. So use your potions. Use your <laughs> potions wisely in this game. As far as what you don't like, what do you not like about this game? Um, I find it hard 
to constantly be looking to see if my number of my dye is going up or down. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, it works. I'm like, oh, it's the wrong color dye. So that was a little bit hard. I wish this was a little bit more spaced out because, yep. you know, people's handwriting. Well, don't 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 judge me on this thing. <laughs> but I completely agree with you. That's going to be offhand the first thing I don't like. It, it is, I mean, it gets better. It gets better across multiple plays, you, I will say that. You get used to it. But that first play, I was like, I, my first play of this game, I was like, I really like it. But I also don't know if it's worth the work after one play. Now, as you play it more, it does get better. It does get easier. But it's still a little bit tedious to be, like, just crossing over of, like, well, I have a four of this. So, the four is there, down there. It's, like, it's literally spreadsheet madness over here. It's, like, jing, jing, ding, ding. Just going across the rows, up, down, across, and then higher or lower. Because on the crafting side, you it's want higher. dice that are higher or equal to. On the other, on the research side, you want things that are lower than or equal to. So, it's this constant back and forth of wrapping your mind around how the dice work and how you can actually assign them to things. Again, it gets to better as you play but certainly something that's just it, it is a tedious uh, obstacle in the way of a good time anything else you don't like no but i'm looking at this and i realize a glamour potion supplier gained three potions for one instead of this row that would have been an excellent use of that last time of that last die oh arguably yeah that would have been yeah yeah we've we don't we, have, we haven't really delved into the charms in any, any of our games like yet here this was a four i could have done this right here got this and gained three but you did it anyway i know but i could have gotten more and then i could have used but you an did extra it anyway die. But then I could have finished my plate armor. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be over there. So, basically, the charm section is something we haven't really delved into. As far as other things I don't like, um, I don't know if there's anything else I don't personally like. I think my biggest thing is just going to be the tediousness. Uh, mm -hmm. As far as what can you see others not liking? Anything? Because I have something. I mean... So... I mean, basically, my first thing that comes to mind when I think of what might be a problem for others is there's definitely a degree of luck in the game in the sense, in the sense that across, the, as the game begins, you're all starting on a level playing field, you all see what's out there, you sequence out, okay, great, I'm going to get that hammer in two turns, if you don't get there first, I start prepping for the hammer, all those things are great. Uh, as far as what the dice roll, though, if I'm working my way towards one thing and you're working your way towards another, we might get a roll that's good for me and not good for you. Additionally, as I've built out my shocking grimoire of the dwarfs, I can get items that come out that complement the things I have built and don't complement the things you've built. That's true. So as we diversify our, our unique advantages in this crowded marketplace, effectively the luck of the draw can certainly impact who gets rewarded with the random things that come out next and who gets to build those things. Not a problem for me because this is a short 25 minute long yeah. roll and write game where it's just fun. But if you're someone who... If, that, if it sounds like something that might bother you, well, then it, it, it's something that might bother you. And as far as final thoughts. So, overall, for myself at least, Merchants of Magic is, well, delightful. It's fun, it's simple, it has it, it has that sequencing aspect, and it manages to feel different than many other, you know, Ganshan Clever, any of those other rolling rights, even though it has that. It has that aspect of back and forth. You saw her last turn where she's like, I'm going to build the pendant, get the potion, trade on four potions to get the Warhammer. Now they have the Warhammer, I have one more thing, which means I can get the dragons, and look, now I collected two different goods, boom, 12 points. That's fun, and it's fun to do that, and it feels like you're you're becoming more proficient at your class. I'd love to see more things that give you a little more control. I'd love to see like abilities, like and again, this is prime I think for. That's what we talked about. We want yeah. some abilities. We want more abilities. We, this whole, whole game is prime for expansions or who knows what that give you other things. But I'd love to be able to craft items or potentially. I think there are two things to talk about. One is uh, being able to craft other things that will, let's say, oh, you know, draw five cards from the top of the deck and replace any two customers with those cards, which yeah. can give you control over that luck aspect. Or alternatively, crafting items for the card row that give you abilities, not just points, but I can craft the fiery plate armor that will be worth four points, or I can craft the fiery plate armor of the dragon kin that will give me four points dragon. and allow me to... Dragon. I, I'm making things up. It's my game now. <laughs> so, fire plate armor of the dragon can, and being able to like look through the top three cards of the deck and pick one. I think there's other ways you can mix up the experience, giving you a little more control, a little more fun. But even in its current state, um, I'm fairly enjoying this one. Mm -hmm. As far as scoring, what do you rate this one? No, you have to rate it first. Why? Because you said you Why? were rating it first. Why? Because I want you to. Why? <laughs> is your rating going to change based on what I say? No. Okay, uh, for me, this is a, a slightly tough one. They, I specifically have a five-point score because I don't want to give myself that nuance of a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten out of whatever. Uh, that said, I, I, I think it's hard. I think I want to give this one a four out of five. Uh, yeah. It's it's tough because like I'm, I'm bordering between that four and that three, but I, I think I'm going to lean four, four right now. It is fun enough in what I'm doing. The actual gameplay, probably a three. But the theme aspect of building out a shop and the, the slow acquisition of being able to have those escalating rounds where you start drawing more and more goods into your shop, 
it does have me wanting to play this one a little more than the average three in my collection. So, I, again, gameplay on its own, probably a three. With the theme and the fun aspect thrown in, it elevates it. Just, just crossing that line into a four to five for me. Your turn. It's a four. It has elves. It has elves. That's elves. all we need. I'm going to start finding the worst possible games with elves and see what she rates those. They're elves. They're and elves. dragons. Yes. And magic. That is going to be Merchants of Magic from Rock Manor Games, Delightful Little Roll and Rat. So Roll and Rat. Roll and Rat should be a <laughs> new genre. We'll talk about that next. Delightful Little Roll and Rat in which you um, craft rats. I don't know what's <laughs> happening here. In any case, I am no Alex. Rats. I'm Rena. And have a good one.